Hello and welcome to MG Tracy Rail today. We're lucky enough to be back in Target. So let's have a look what the vacuum range is like in 2023. Let's start with iRobot and have a look at some of their latest offerings of the robot vacuum cleaners. These ones self-empty as well as self-charge, so you can get up to 60 days, which is really quite a good idea. As you know, I'm not the greatest fan of these I, or any of the robotic ones. They do an okay job if you've got hard floors, if you've got carpets or mixture of surfaces, they really struggle. When I've used them, they're always getting stuck somewhere or another. Um, so I've rather given up with that. Uh, most of our house is a mixture of flooring. Now this little square one was quite interesting and it follows a new trend really where not only do these um, vacuum but they mop. But they are mopping by dragging a microfiber cloth over the floor so that is eventually just going to get filthy and going to have to change itself. Again, I haven't had great results with this. Um, this is another brand that's in Target. Uh, and it does very much similar sort of stuff. Um, it's got a lot of clever laser technology where it will map the room and remember the room. It's Wi-Fi enabled, which means you can connect this to your phone and ask it to do extra cleans and things. Shark, as ever, have a player in every aspect of pretty much everything. They have a good look at what other people are doing and then copy it and reduce the price is a pretty good way of uh, thinking about Shark, really. Um, there's does a lot of the same sort of stuff um, but at a lower price. Um, this is obviously the Dyson Ball was one of the very early uh, vacuums. This one is a mains one, it's got the new head on it that you can adjust the height here for carpet which is the simplest way to do it and it's got those combs there which is a very simple and effective way of removing hairs off the roller. The ball uh, wheelbarrow was actually Dyson's very first ever invention, so I think he used it again on the vacuum and it gives you a good turn in. So these machines are very effective. They're quite heavy and of course they are cable. Uh, here are some of the current offerings for Dyson and the very latest V15 where you can have a laser detector at the front to spot the dust. And one of the older ones, it's a little bit less balanced. They've all had the new head put on them. And what you're looking here is one of the new sharks. Now this has the new power fins and this is a very easy simple way not to get hair stuck on the bristles so rather than the hairs get stuck and you come up with another roller or a tooth comb or something to get it off this does it in an easier way so I quite like the power for um, power fins. You've got IQ display here as well so you can electronically control um, how much power and that's a good thing uh, because on some of the other sharks you have a manual system to adjust the power and it just is so noisy you're just basically letting air in to short circuit the system uh, this shows you the full dyson range and you, you get what you pay for really um, increasingly dyson has restarted making corded vacuums having stopped this is the uh, stratos stick now this has got all the latest bits and pieces from shark including that which is the odor neutralizer now i would say if your vacuum is starting to smell clean it i don't need to cover it with another smell uh, this one has the new um, heads so you don't have any problem with hair on it um, it says it's got 50 percent better pickup you've got lights on the front but it also has the infrared sensor, which has come off the Dyson V15, which senses how much dirt you're sucking up, and then it adjusts the power. And if a lot of rubbish is coming up, it'll boost the power automatically. Uh, a lot of you can, the stuff on here you can control electronically, and it's a good vacuum. It's not the most well balanced, and it is quite heavy. It's not easy to use on stairs, but for the money, I think it's probably um, one of the best vacuums around currently. It's certainly towards the top end of the range uh, that Shark make. Um, I, I quite like it. I'm just not sure that you really need an odor neutralizer. If it smells, clean it. There's something wrong with one of the filters. Here's um, the uh, Stratos pricing. And you can see how the uh, self-cleaning brush roll works here. The anti-allergen seal and HEPA filter, obviously having a HEPA filter should really be an absolute minimum when you're considering buying um, any sort of vacuum. 
This is the other end. This is a much older Shark Rocket. This is under $200 before tax. That's quite a long head and it's got a motor and that inside it and it's quite unwieldy when you're trying to use it. Also, this has the older design of where the uh, rubbish sits. It's not a particularly big bin on this one either. This, although it looks like a battery, is actually a corded vacuum. Um, I just find this whole thing a bit unwieldy when you're trying to move it around the house. It's too long for me. And because you've got a motor in there and a, and, and a sort of a rubber band that's driving the fins, you, you don't actually really vacuum right up to the edge. This one then is one of the Bissells. Uh, this has a really big, easy, empty tank. It's got lots of attachments. Um, you see the Bissell is powered as an air turbine. So when you connect up some of these bits, rather than having a motor in the, the smaller attachments, it's just driven by the, the actual suction. And because you're now powering a tool with a suction, you lose some of the suction power. So it's a much older way of doing it, a cheaper way of doing it. Having said that, this head isn't as unwieldy as the shark, so it's a little bit easier to move her. And you can see here that Target aren't actually doing a lot of vacuuming in their stores. Everything is absolutely caked in dust. And that's really why you need a HEPA filter. If you don't have a HEPA filter vacuum and you have one of the cheaper ones, what is really happening is some of that dust is going back out into the air and will land on other things, or if not, breathed in by yourself. This one then is the Icon Pet Turbo from Bissell. It's got a really good head. I like the color out of this. Um, LED lit tools, nice. Does it really need to be? Um, but the pricing's pretty good, isn't it, for this, given the look of it. I mean, under $250 here for the Tyneco. Now this is a brand that's just starting to appear. Um, it's got lights in the front. It's got a very effective head. Some of the Tynecos are priced up with Dyson and they are quality, you know. And when it's saying they're 33% more powerful suction, it's talking about one of his other models. So that means naff all, doesn't it really? You know, 33% more than what a model that was completely crap. So don't take too much notice of that. I think this is a brand to watch. Uh, there's not many in Target. There's quite a few in Walmart and on Amazon. And it's starting to appear around Europe as well, but not at the budget end. Really taking on the big boys for the quality end, uh, the other, uh, quality end, really. Right, here's a really expensive shark then. The Duo Clean Power Fins. There's a lot of LEDs on this head, and actually it's probably just too bright, to be honest. I don't know quite how well you need to light up your carpet when you're vacuuming it. Um, I quite like the look at this. I've got uh, one of these. Let me see, there we are. Just how clean is your local Target shop? Um, I quite like this, uh, and the lift away means you just press a couple of buttons and that middle section comes away without all the, the um, power rollers on the bottom. And this is really good for cleaning up holstery or uh, vacuuming a bed perhaps or going up the stairs. I, I really quite like that technology. Um, you can choose um, some of the power on this one and you don't have to really worry about hairs um, I say because you haven't got any bristles you don't have the problem with hairs wrapping themselves away 399 I think that's a good price for this sort of thing this is the DLX this has got a slightly different combination of uh, motors and, uh, and uh, bristles there, slightly more old-fashioned really. Again you can lift the whole thing away, it's very easy to go right underneath the sofa. <laughs> Who needs to vacuum under the sofa? I mean you know if the dust has got there good good luck to it. This is the bit I don't like on these uh, mid-range sharks is this is your power adjuster and basically what you're doing is just letting air in and yes it does reduce the power so if you're trying to vacuum a long carpet it, you won't just be stuck to the bloody floor but it's so noisy when you start letting that air in it's like being in the middle of a tornado you can't hear yourself think and it's a very ineffective way isn't it you're using all that electricity to make the the vac the suction and and the vacuum and and letting it go also this is obviously a cable one they've cut the cable off which is a bit misleading um, and i do find these pipes just tend to waggle around a bit they will not lock into the uh, little receptor is on the back there so 
when you do a bit of vigorous vacuuming, you, you can get kneecapped by the cable. This one is 329. This has a self-cleaning brush roll, and it's much, it's a much sort of thinner thing. If you've got arthritis or you're struggling with um, the weight, then this is a great one. And what this does is it's got a very small container for collecting dust, but you dock it, and like some of the iRobot. Uh, vacuums that whiz around on the floor on their own it will empty itself and I think then this should do you a month or two months really um, but if you have arthritis and you struggle with the weight of most of the other vacuums this is the one for you it's got a heap of class filter so that's very good it's quite good on power usage now at 260 the shark navigator anti-allergen again another different type of brush head this one has bristles and the fins it's pretty good uh, you've got your lift away option again with this one um, it comes with a really long cable which I find quite useful and yes it's got that dreaded button again the you suction control you know do you want your vacuum just stuck to the floor so well you can't move it or do you want to deafen yourself that's the choice you've got there you do have a very long reach with these um, but I mean do be careful this it, it tends to topple the machine over if you pull in too much on these um, long pipes they are basically a long spring that you're going you're forcing against the spring and gravity this is now look under $120 the Bissell clear view now there's a gap there in between the bristles which I don't understand and it leaves an odd pattern when you're going up and down on your floor so you're not really getting complete cleaning because there's a little gap in the middle probably to do with the power of it I suppose powerful suction and great uh, steering hard to reach areas I don't know if anyone really has those uh, again, you've got a turbine powered head there. So yes, they work very noisy and you lose all your suction because it's powering the, the little blades around there to uh, uh, make the actual thing work. But at the price point, this is another good buy. So if you're at the budget end of this, um, I would recommend this. It, it's easy enough to use when you're moving it around. I think it looks quite neat. You've got basic simple options there to set the height, which is pretty good. This one is another uh, Bissell, but this one has a lift off again. So this is copied the same sort of idea that you have with that shark. And this is trapping 99.97. That's pretty good. Some of those other robotic ones are only trapping 99%, 1% of the dust and flick and pollen is going back in the air that's not good for you or your pets um, obviously this is a cable one it's a demo so they haven't put all the cable on it and you can control a little bit there of how much power really and how high you want it through that simple button which is is great that's a good way to do it another another quite nice looking machine isn't it i think silver and green is uh, quite good I, I like that i do like that let me know what, how you've been getting on with your vacuums and if you've changed recently or if you're thinking of changing, please send me a message below. Right, under $100. It's electric. There we are. We were thinking it was going to be coal-powered, but no, the coal-powered Bissell vacuum has now been retired. You've got that blessed gap there again in those bristles, which means part of your sweep is not really cleaning anything. The simple adjuster there. I don't get that. You know, that's just daft having a bit of the front that doesn't cover anything uh, there's your filters there I think it's three or four in here that you can wash the red and the silver one are foot buttons to control how you can tilt and um, angle it that uh, thing there can be washed that filter in there it's difficult it's just a cheap way to get around some of Dyson's patents and it makes it hard another turbine turbo brush I've said enough about those and you've got an active extension wand, which is quite good if you have a lot of cobwebs up at the top of your room. It's a pretty good range, isn't it, a target? Wind tunnel, isn't that the greatest name ever for a vacuum? So this is right at the budget end now. Um, it's not that easy to clean the filters in this one, I must be honest. Um, I can't remember this one's heap, I don't think it is. Um, but it, the cord winds into it, if that's important to you, great. Uh, obviously Hoover in the UK used to have some ridiculous market share 
and now you just don't see them, although everybody calls it hoovering. Uh, rather than vacuuming, you don't actually see the brand. You've got a clear pipe there, that's quite handy should you get a blockage, you've got plenty of tools. I don't know, it looks a bit odd. Do you really want to be able to lose all that space and weight by winding the cable in? That's great for you, maybe. Here's a, another offering from uh, Hoover. This one is in some really pretty purple colours with a very simple adjuster there. Behind the grill, we've got some more filters there. This one is a slightly bigger... Um, oh, sorry, this is a Dirt Devil. My mistake. The Endura Pro. This has got quite a big dust bin and it deals with hair pretty well. If you've got a dog at the budget end, this is good. Also, the filter in here says it will uh, trap even odors. Great. Uh, without any loss of suction, it also has a turbine system for its attachment. And the clear pipe, I think that's quite good. If you do get a blockage or do get a mess, you can see where it is in there. If a bit of, I know toilet paper sometimes can get sucked up and, and can block these things. I, again, you know, it says 20% more power, more than what? And do you want more power? I mean, if you're talking about using more electrical power, that just means it's costing you more. Uh, here we go, this is how we'll target vacuum layer displays. And um, it's not just about the power of the motor. Kenmore, now I don't know this brand at all. I've not heard of this one. It's got a really big, wide brush bar there with uh, some options, pedals and buttons there to play around with what type of carpet you're on. Um, obviously this is a more old fashioned tug, tug along, tow behind you unit. Um, <laughs> very rarely see those in the UK now for the occasional people who have Henry's and things in the UK if they want to do specific jobs like empty out ashes from wood burners and that sort of stuff um, they're light again if you have arthritis rather than carrying all the weight around obviously you were just towing it they're not easy to clean stairs and things but this one has got a good head on it now the other thing is look at the washers anyone who's got carpets you're not going to get away alone just with a vacuum you are going to need to rent or own a carpet shampooer as i call them or a carpet washer now here hoover actually has quite a good range and they seem to really have the best machines in the value for money um, often when you're renting stuff in the uk it's rug doctor and they're very expensive units remember when you're buying these you will need to buy detergents always buy the manufacturer's own ones and be ruthless in measuring out how much goes in them some of these machines actually you sort of plug in the bottle and they work out how much of the detergent to put in so i think you know this is called a spin scrub 500 and a great name and the spinning brushes go in the opposite directions to help really get down in the display and then this is is sucked out of the carpet and into uh, a separate canister so all of them work in a similar way one canister water and detergent one for the waste and the first time you empty one of these in your sink and you see this black like engine oil that's come out of your what you thought were wonderfully clean carpets you realize this is something you've got to do every six months now this one is um, a pro heat actually uh, has a bit of heat in it to help dry the carpet as well um, i've not seen that in the uk the, the way the UK ones tend to not put too much water in and really go over it two or three times to make sure you get the water out. And then the whole thing is dry, certainly by the next day. But if you can pro-heat it and basically give your carpet a bit of hair drying afterwards, well, that's great as well. Removes pet hair, stains and odours. And these generally do, and they say, you're, as long as you're using the manufacturer's liquid, you're going to be putting like conditioner well, you would condition your clothes and leaving your carpet smelling lovely and clean. So you vacuum, then you hit it one of these machines, you make sure it's completely dry, and then you vacuum again. And like I say, about three to six months you need to do this, really, if you've got carpets where people have worn shoes and things. This is another one of the Bissell. Bissell got some really good value ones. Um, they are extremely noisy. You almost need um, ear bafflers with some of them, but they are really lightweight, very simple to use. Um, good if you've got pets. This shows some of the range that Target has of all the different chemicals you need for those carpet washers and shampooers and different smells and antibacteria, anti-stain, help with pet smells, all sorts of stuff. 
Um, and you need to make sure you get the right one and you put the right amount of it in your machine otherwise you can alter the colour of your carpet. So I hope you found that useful. Please like, share and subscribe. This is a great range here. I would be tempted to go for the Dyson or the, the new sort of top of the range Shark that has the air freshener in it that I'm not 100% sure you need, but the rest of that is a really good thing. If you've got hard floors only, you'll be able to get away probably with a robotic cleaner. If you've got a mixture of floor types or if you've got a lot of long carpet, you're gonna to have to carry on doing it yourself. The robots have not taken over the world yet in the world of vacuuming. So this is Paul from London. Enjoy myself in Florida. See you next time.